Now I wanted to review the infamous 1986 film short called Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown. It is a uh, short that is directed by Jim Reardon, who later go on to write, uh, write WALL-E, uh, write for The Simpsons a lot. He was part of the kind of big group of animators who came out of Mighty Mouse and New Adventures, as well as Rich Moore, who narrates this, would then go on to co-direct uh, both the Wreck-It Ralph films and Zootopia, which um, also uh, Jim Reardon would help write. Um, he was considered by Ralph Bakshi, Jim Reardon, to be one of the greatest uh, cartoon writers of his age. Um, that's the quote that is on uh, his Wikipedia page. But Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown is sort of a Sam Peckinpah mashup with Charlie Brown. Basically, a lot of violent stuff happens to Charlie Brown. He shoots all of the uh, kind of gang of the Peanuts. That's because they were attacking him and so forth. There's all these violent things in it. It's got actually some good visual gags, but it's basically like the joke that like, this is the new Peanuts special and have them do sort of violent-y stuff in it. At first, I was like, is this just like a happy tree friends kind of thing? Like, ha ha, the Peanuts are doing violent stuff. That is honestly most of the joke. I think it works a little better than just being a simple kind of lame joke in that they actually have a lot of Sam Peckinpah stuff in it. They do have a pretty funny joke. Like, they're going through all these violent things. And you see, like, Snoopy getting gunned down. You see, like, he kicks the football and it's a bomb. Like, all sorts of stuff like that. And then you see this part where he's, like, in Peppermint Patty. And he just pulls out a cookie from his pocket. And then he gets bit. <laughs> like, that was actually funny. Because I'm like, oh, it's just Peppermint Patty. And then eventually Charlie Brown kind of has his revenge on the Peanuts gang. And goes all, like, taxi driver after he's put in witness protection, as they say. It's kind of sort of just a naughty thing you would make with animation students would make in college. This is when they're at Cal Arts all together, which certain animator friends of mine would definitely sign off on the fact that all animators come from Cal Arts. I think it's a fun little short for what it is. I like how heavily it, it's influenced by Sam Peckinpah. That's kind of a funny little joke in it. Like, Br Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown is directly parodying the, the title Bring Me the Head of Alfredo Garcia, which is a great movie. It also directly uses actual audio from uh, uh, The Wild Bunch, which William Holden is actually credited in this film because they use his audio in it. It is actually kind of funny. I, I kind of liked it for like its weird kind of craziness. It was never really officially released, and even though there's like release dates, I'm assuming that's when it's screened somewhere, it was kind of more of a bootleg thing and it was really kept quiet on the bootleg market because they knew Charles Schultz would get upset about it. They even wrote a thing at the end and this is from, it's very much credit to Jim Reardon. He actually writes, uh, it's called a Jim Reardon cartoon, but he writes a thing at the end. The creator of this picture wishes to state that he does not in any way wish to tarnish or demean the beloved characters of Charles M. Dutch Schultz, which is actually reference to a gangster Dutch Schultz. Comic strip Peanuts, no malice or damage to their goodwill was intended. So please don't sue me because it will drag through the courts for years and I haven't got a lawyer. And besides, you've already got half the money in the world and I haven't got any. Okay. So... It's kind of made in jest. I think he knew what he was doing. It is funny how many things they reference, like the Dr. Pepper uh, Godzilla ads. They just sort of, during one of like the melees of it, it's like reference like Popeye hits Rocky. They reference like a mid 80s Godzilla soda ad. I think they have Mickey Mouse getting hit with a bat. Like it just gets a little like wild and insane. And I can imagine like you're in a college party, you've had a few beers, you watch this, you have a good time. It's funny. It's not trying to make any political message other than having the Peanuts characters beat the living fuck out of each other. But I think what's actually really funny about this is that these are the people who help make like Zootopia later. Like, and if you think about it, how more radical Zootopia is, of course these people made Bring Me the Head of Charlie Brown. Jim Reardon would be the head of story at Disney. Um, after this, he worked on The Simpsons, Tiny Toon Adventures, The Critic, things of that nature and co-wrote uh, Wally with Andrew Stanton, who both these guys, uh, Jim Reardon and uh, Rich Moore, would go on to work on Mighty Mouse The New Adventures, as well as, like, John... They were hired by John Kay, actually. Um, but that huge group of, like, newer animation talent that came out of uh, Mighty Mouse The New Adventures, you can also sort of tell, like, if they played this for John Kay and he was making Mighty Mouse The New Adventures, it, like, kind of just makes sense completely that that this sort of happened but you should also check out Mighty Mouse and Adventures if you ever can but this is kind of like a fun little college short made by two major animation talents you might not know Jim Reardon or you might not know Rich Moore but they've made some pretty substantial pieces of animation during their careers and are a big deal would be part of Mickey Mouse the New Adventures which was highly influential both in how it started all these careers how it also influenced the Adventures of Sonic which also would go on to influence OKKO um, but um, it, it was, it's kind of like the legacy 
that these guys were later a part of like goes on all the way to current animation but this is sort of like where they started from and it shows you how radical they were how they like different kinds of film how they have taxi driver references how they want to do a sam peckinpah reference in a short about peanuts shows like they're kind of I, I would say they have a healthy cinephile view on things and i think you got that from shorts like this um that these guys were kind of like culturally interesting people and they like have like crazier gags that definitely sort of work in this weird kind of sketchy black and white kind of crazy short that is bring me the head of charlie brown and yes i will say john k is is definitely gross and weird and uh, i'm not signing off on him at all i'm just saying his part in animation history but i sort of regret that we have to talk about him as at all mm -hmm.